The investigation into that massive fire at the old Masonic Temple on East 55th Street now moves from what caused it to who caused it. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is live tonight at the scene with the latest in Deb. What some had feared is now official. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Danita. This pile of rubble here that was once the old Masonic Temple has now become the scene of an active arson investigation. Fire investigators put up the arson signs around the historic Prince Hall Masonic Temple this evening as leaders of Cleveland's Masonic Lodges gathered at an east side church to talk about the future. You know, we've had some plans in the workings for the last few years and we're just trying to reevaluate those plans to make sure that they're still going to be in tune for our membership. It took more than 60 firefighters to extinguish the flames at this century-old building along East 55th. And although arson wasn't officially ruled until late this afternoon, some Masons say they knew last night this fire was set. It doesn't matter how it was done, why it was done. You know, it's it's a loss, you know, no matter how you shake it out. The loss of a building they once called home and perhaps the artifacts and historical documents that were stored inside. But more than that, the loss of years of memories. A lot of people have gone through that, been in that building since the, for the last 55 years, Congressman Stokes on down. So uh, there's a lot of memories that are lost in that building. Memories some will carry with them in these bricks. A lot of teachings were done in this building. Um, as far as the children that begin in the Pythagoras and grow into the young men, these are memories. And when we rebuild, these will be set aside in a special place and dedicated in the memory of Prince Hall. Now, we have additional pictures of that fire up on our website tonight at newsnet5.com. And arson investigators want to hear from you if you know anything at all about this fire or how it started. They want you to call Crime Stoppers. That number, of course, 252-7463. Live in Cleveland, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.